full blast, full blast. All right. Hey, we're going to do a video about, I don't know if I can get this to work. Um, striping a guitar with pinstripes. No, racing stripes, not pinstripes. I'm trying to line up the camera. That's good enough. Okay. Um, so this is going to be shell pink with black racing stripes. So, um, what we're going to do then, the way this one is, is uh, I got this fine line tape. It's a kind of tape, it's vinyl tape, and uh, it works better than using, like, saying masking tape as far as getting a crisp line. There's a bunch of different brands of this stuff out there. Uh, this is the one I use. I don't know what Fender has anyway. So, um, lining it up with these, I don't know if you can see the very edge here. Let me do it this way. It's hard to see if it's straight though when you do it this way. I like to look at it head on. Okay, so lining it up with. Come on. The edge of the uh, pickup routes there. And. Trying to see if it's straight with the body. So I lay that one down. Okay. Just like that. And then, here's a finer. This is eighth inch tape. Can you see me? Is it still working? Please say it's working. I hope that the audio is recording. I've been having problems with that. Somewhere on here is the edge of this tape. There we go. Now this is going to be a blank spot. Um, where I, in between the stripes. But you use this fine line tape, or this eighth inch tape here, to uh, separate the lines so you get an even, even, uh, even gap. So when you also when you're taping, you, do, you, don't, you don't go like this. You line it up on one end, and then you steer it with this. And that's how you get a straight line. Don't pull too tight. And then you can just walk right there. If you follow the line, you just get it right on the edge there. And you move it right or left just to make sure it lines up exactly right there. Okay. Don't pull too tight, just barely taut. Okay, put that there, wrap that around. Now, the center, there's going to be three stripes. The center one's going to be a little wider. So this is a little wider than that, see? So that's how we want it. So I'll line this one up. Just put it right up to the, the other one I just laid down. Okay. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see the way I got the camera set up there, but I kind of got to make sure I get this um, nice and butted up to that other piece of tape there. That's how you get straight lines. And then when it comes around the corner, you know, it's uh, even more challenging because to make a straight line around a bend is <clears throat> you got to be very conscientious of what you're doing. Okay, so then I'll put another skinny one because there's going to be another uh, gap between this stripe and that stripe. Skinny stripe, cut it up. Line it up, right and left it. Okay. Like that. Down. Now I'll get the thinner of these two wide ones. Does that make sense? There's two wide ones. One's a little wider than the other. Okay, but that one right up, okay, to the previous tape, down, okay, now, this side, I'm going to make sure this is all doing what it's supposed to do, I'm sure you can't see right now, but well, you'll see when I get done, I guess. 
We're just wrapping it around this corner. It's a little, this tape bends, vinyl tape kind of bends. But you see, I don't know if you can, right here, it's, that tape isn't going to bend all the way right there. So I'm going to use another piece. Kind of fill that in right there. And make a sharp line right there. Because it's only going to stop right here. It's not going all the way around. But you still want the angles to be right. Okay. Yeah. So now that you got stuff where you want it, you can pull those center ones out. Those are only spacers. These the eighth inch tape. Like that. See there? And where's the other one? There it is. You're only using this tape for so you get proper spacing um, between these stripes. Like that. Huh. So that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> Now, oh, this, this part came in over the wrong area. I don't want that fluttering around when there's air being shot. Or, okay. So it looks a little weird right there. I wonder if I can fix it. Like I know you can't see, but well, I pulled it, pulled up my stinking fix. Whatever, I'll detail that later. I'll detail later, all right? Okay. I'm trying to go too fast, and I'm making a mistake. All right, shell pink. Still recording, say it is. I guess it is. All right. Now, one thing you can do also, I find it to be a little helpful if you can disconnect your air, is shoot a little bit of clear first. Too much, too much, too much. On the thing, and that any area it's going to bleed kind of helps kind of bleed through, you know what I mean by that? You want clean lines. So I just put a real light coat of clear on there, sort of, I don't know how to explain it. It just helps you get clean lines. Or you could put black. If I spray black over it right now, even though the stripes are going to be shell paint, the black would do the same thing. So when you're painting over stripes or masking, uh, you want to put it on light. Don't put it, don't put your, uh, well, I'll just paint the whole thing normal. Normally I start like this, right? When I get to the stripes, put it on light, dry. If you put it on real wet, the paint will puddle and pool and go underneath the tape. If your tape isn't sealed perfectly tight everywhere, you know, like right. 
Okay. I already know my <clears throat> ends of my tape aren't very that? sharp looking. So I'm going to have to fix that later. I'll do that after the video because, you know, it'll take me too long to do right now. I got other things I'm supposed to be doing as well. And sometimes you have to touch this kind of stuff up. If you pull that tape and it's not crisp and perfect the way you're hoping, it's not the end of the world. You can touch stuff up. It's just paint. I can already see my lines not straight right there. All my little efforts to try to make it right one didn't work. I'll fix it later. Okay, how's that look? As far as just the pink being covered, you know? You look alright, does it? Yeah, I think so. So what I'll do, normally, well, I'll put a quick coat of lacquer on here, just to uh, uh, protect that pink, because when I take those stripes off, I don't want my fingers to dig in or something weird. To that pink or scratch the pink or what, uh, what, <laughs> whatever. See how light I'm putting this on? Lacquer. It's just sort of a dusting. Just to sort of protect that pink. What if I have Dorito fingers when I touch that pink? My Dorito fingers are going to leave Dorito-ness on the pink. But if I put this lacquer and there's Dorito-ness, you could sand it off without messing up the pink. Okay, that's the best way you can explain that. Now, Blow the air on it. Normally I'd set it aside, but I'm trying to make this video so I can pull this tape off and then you can laugh at me because it's coming out right, okay? But that's, uh, that'll make you feel better about yourself. Especially over here. <laughs> blowing it off, blowing it off. All right, let's try taking the tape off, can we? Here it's going to be real easy to do. I can't just yank it though. I need to do this. There. Oh. So don't want to have these. This one. Another thing, when you're unmasking things, especially when they're wet, don't just yank it. Pull this way. See, I, uh, I could pull it up, but if you pull like this with the tape, the way you got it, I don't like this, like this. Same way. Okay. This one. Zing zang. All right. That's how it's going to look. You can see it looks pretty clean, but there's a little touchy up piece I'll do right there. Can you see it? I don't know. Huh? That's not so bad, but I could fix it a little bit right there. So that's how you do it. Bye.